the free and Hanseatic city of Hamburg, a metropolis and large economic center in northern Germany. Hamburg is also an industrial and trade center. Hamburg's harbor is the second largest in Europe after Rotterdam. About 3.5 million people live in this region. They work, produce, and consume. And by doing so, they naturally also produce waste. Despite profound efforts to recycle waste, some garbage remains for disposal. And disposal in Hamburg actually means that waste is transformed into valuable materials for industry and energy as well. Located in the harbor area in Hamburg, right beside the Kohlbrandt Bridge, the waste incineration plant Rugenberger Dam, in short MVR, a cogeneration power plant, a facility for the disposal of waste and the recovery of reusable materials all in one. The city of Hamburg favors short ways, no waste tourism to landfills far away. The waste is processed right where it is produced and this at low costs. At MVR, the prices for the incineration of waste are almost 50% below the average price for thermal treatment of waste in Germany. At MVR, 320,000 tons of waste can be incinerated per year, mainly household garbage. The main share comes from Hamburg, and about 30% comes from the surrounding area in Lower Saxony. Ninety highly trained women and men specialists work at MVR. The share of women is remarkably high for a technical plant such as this. About 20% of the workforce at MVR are women. The common task of these and their male colleagues is to dispose of waste and to supply customers with recovered materials safely and reliably. Doris Menke is the head of the monitoring department and an advisor for environmental questions. She is an experienced environmental engineer, seeing to it that all stringent environmental standards are maintained. Doris is committed to ensuring that emissions stay well below the permitted values, and she's already set new records. Some of the emission values at MVR are near or even below the detection limits. This means something with today's highly developed analytical equipment. 120 garbage trucks dump their loads into the waste bunker every day. Anneliese Seifert easily lifts five tons of waste with her polyp crane. She makes fuel out of waste. The right continuous mixture is important. Shredded and homogenized waste has the heating value of lignite coal. This fire transforms waste into bottom ash, or slag as we call it, and flue gas. At temperatures of more than 850 degrees Celsius, even dangerous dioxins and furons are destroyed. It has been proven that less dioxin leaves the plant than enters it when the waste is delivered. And this is good news for the environment. Doris Menke in her special working area, the labyrinth of the flue gas treatment system. Here she controls the flow of the flue gas through the different filters. Right after initial combustion, still in the first draft of the steam generator, nitrogen oxides, noxies as they are usually called, are reduced by the injection of ammonia. Noxies are transformed into nitrogen and water, substances that can be found in abundance in the atmosphere. Between the third and fourth draft of the steam generator, about 50% of the fly ash is filtered out of the flue gases. After the steam generator, the flue gases pass through the first bag house. With the help of active carbon, dioxins, furons, and heavy metals are absorbed and separated from the flue gas. The next stage is the HCL hydrochloric acid scrubber. In two stages, acids are scrubbed out of the flue gas. Finally, the SO2, sulfur dioxide scrubber. 
quick lime is mixed with water to form a lime slurry which absorbs sulfur dioxide from the flue gas. A second bag house serves as a police filter to extract any remaining heavy metals or dioxins out of the flue gas with the aid of active carbon. At the end of the flue gas cleaning system, the draft fan pushes the flue gas into the atmosphere, keeping the steam generator and the flue gas cleaning system below the atmospheric pressure so that flue gases cannot escape into the plant. The environmental contamination around the stack is relatively low. It is being compared with the emissions of six cars equipped with catalytic converters. Measurements of emissions are carried out with great care. For all measured contaminants, the results are very low, often less than 10% of the permitted values. The residues of the flue gas cleaning system are valuable materials. The desulfurization at MVR produces gypsum of high quality, of higher purity than natural gypsum. Out of the flue gases, hydrochloric acid is also recovered, pure according to technical standards and concentrated at 30%. Power plants and the chemical industry are satisfied customers for this product. Finally, scrap metals and slag remain as marketable products or residue respectively. At MVR, approximately 80,000 tons of slag are produced each year. Slag can be used, for example, in the construction of roads, serving as a stable support for the asphalt. The heart of the plant, the control room, on these screens, the measurements of all the different process stages in the plant are visualized. The operators correct even the slightest deviations from the optimal conditions with a simple click of the mouse. <laughs> the technical managing director of the plant, Dr. Heiner Svar. He's an expert in waste to energy technology. He succeeded in building the MVR plant in two and a half years and even managed to cut the cost by 20 million euros. Heiner Svar gained experience in the construction and operation of the waste incineration plant at Borzigstrasse in Hamburg, a plant very similar to MVR. The experience gained there was of considerable help during the construction of the MVR plant, ultimately saving both time and money. At times, more than 600 people were working on this large industrial construction site, trying to maintain the projected schedule successfully. While the plant was being erected, a tunnel containing steam pipes was also being built underneath the Coolbrandt Bridge at a depth of 30 meters and a length of 382 meters to supply industrial customers in Neuhof with steam. Since the summer of 1999, steam at high pressure has been delivered through this pipe to companies in Neuhof. With the supply of this low-priced energy, MVR is helping to secure the jobs at the plants of these steam customers. The industrial area in Neuhof used to be supplied with energy by an oil-fired cogeneration plant. Now the steam needed in the industrial processes is produced by the incineration of waste. The result is that up to 75,000 tons of heavy fuel oil don't have to be burned anymore. Four tons of waste replace one ton of heavy fuel oil. The disposal of waste and the supply of energy in one step. For the environment, a positive effect in every respect. The official startup celebration in June 1999. And the northern part of Germany has a new attraction. Hamburg has a tradition of setting new standards. In 1894, the first waste incineration plant on the European continent went into operation. The result of the last devastating cholera epidemic in 1892. Ever since, waste has been incinerated in Hamburg. Today, the technological advantages are apparent, with visitors from all over the world coming to MVR to get an insight into this fascinating recycling technology. The echo management and audit scheme of the European community has already been passed successfully. Waste incineration plant or cogeneration plant? MVR is both. Besides steam, MVR produces electricity. This generator can produce up to 30 megawatts of electricity, enough to supply 40,000 households with electric power for the high voltage grid of HEW, the local utility company. The engineers claim that you can virtually see through these stacks. 
This is because the Hamburg Authority responsible can supervise online exactly which contaminants are emitted into the atmosphere 24 hours a day thanks to a direct data line to the authority. Transparency and reliance. That's what the people working at MVR stand for. Samples are taken continuously from the different flows of materials and are analyzed to secure a high quality. This is a sample of the hydrochloric acid produced, as clear as pure water, a clean product. The hydrochloric acid rectification unit is running perfectly. This is a standard 120 liter garbage bin, which is used by the majority of the households in Hamburg. This bin contains two weeks of garbage from a family of four. This garbage bin contains the fuel for MVR. By the incineration of the waste contained in such a rubbish bin, the following materials are produced. Slag, hydrochloric acid, gypsum, scrap iron, non-ferrous metals like aluminum, copper and brass, and fly ash, steam and electricity as well. The disposal of waste costs money. For such a garbage bin, a yearly fee of about 250 euros has to be paid in the Hamburg area. About 50% of this fee is needed for the collection of the waste and its transportation to the incineration plants. And compared with many other waste incineration plants in Germany, the disposal fees at MVR are favorably low. Doris Menke has finished her inspection tour through the plant. Everything is in good order, reliable, energetic and in harmony with the environment. MVR was erected on an industrial site at the Rugenberger Dam in the harbor area of Hamburg. When building the facility, the investors agreed to compensate for the destruction of the habitat of animals and plants on the site. An area of 12 hectares in the nearby Hüfner Moor has been renaturalized and will be maintained as the new habitat. Critics state that the new plant has created unneeded incineration capacity. However, during the past years, despite our best efforts at reducing waste through household sorting, the amount of waste has not decreased. In addition, experienced experts advise that a reserve capacity of at least 10% should be kept. A reserve capacity for the future. With the start of operation of MVR, the city of Hamburg is fulfilling the requirements for the ecologically friendly disposal of waste on a technologically high level, already meeting the requirements of laws that won't take effect until the year 2005. From 2005 onwards, it will be prohibited to dump untreated waste in landfills. Thanks to MVR, these legal requirements are already being met by Hamburg today. We're delivering security for the future. Security for the environmentally safe disposal of waste, combined with the recovery of energy and reusable materials. The waste incineration and co-generation plant at Rugenberger Dam, MVR.